Hello guys, you are once more welcome to this channel. In today's lesson, we are going to be solving the quadratic congruence x squared plus 6x plus 4, which is congruent to 3 in mode 7. But before I get into the lesson, it is important we know this theorem. We know that if a and b are two integers, such that the product ab is congruent to 0 in mode p, where p is a prime number, then a must be congruent to 0 in mode p, or b must be congruent to 0 in mode p. This is a very simple theorem, and we are going to prove this theorem in our next video. So please do well to subscribe to this channel in order not to miss the proof. So let's get back to the equation. We are given that x squared plus 6x plus 4 is congruent to 3 in mode 7. And we are going to start by subtracting 3 from both sides so that the right hand side should be 0. So this implies that x squared plus 6x plus 4 minus 3 is congruent to 3 minus 3 in mode 7. And this again implies that x squared plus 6x plus 1 is congruent to 0 in mode 7. Here we can see that the left hand side is a quadratic expression which cannot be factorized. And so we have to transform it to a factorizable quadratic expression. And how do we do this? We can either add, subtract, or even multiply both sides by a constant or a multiple of x. Now, if you subtract 7x from both sides, we are going to obtain x squared plus 6x plus 1 minus 7x, which is congruent to 0 minus 7x in mode 7. And this implies that x squared minus x plus 1 is congruent to. We know any multiple of 7 in mode 7 is 0. That is, any multiple of 7 divided by 7 leaves a remainder of 0. So this is congruent to 0 in mode 7. And here we can see that the left hand side cannot still be factorized but it is important to know that whatever thing we are adding or subtracting from both sides it should be a multiple of seven so that the right hand side should be maintained at zero and so if you subtract seven from both sides we are going to obtain x squared minus x plus one minus seven which is congruent to negative seven in mode seven and this again implies that x squared minus x minus 6 is congruent to, like we said, any multiple of 7 in mode 7 is 0. So this is congruent to 0 in mode 7. And if you factorize x squared minus x minus 6, we are going to obtain x minus 3 into x plus 2, which is congruent to 0 in mode 7, which implies that x minus 3 is congruent to 0 in mode 7, or x plus 2 is congruent to 0 in mode 7, since 7 is a prime number. So this implies that x is congruent to 3 in mode 7 or x is congruent to negative 2 in mode 7. In the first case, we have simply added 3 to both sides and in the second case, we have subtracted 2 from both sides. So this gives x to be congruent to 3 in mode 7 or x is congruent to 5 in mode 7. 
that is by adding 7 to negative 2. Therefore, our two solutions in mode 7 are x equal to 3 or x equal to 5. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.